What's up everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience at Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with me paisano, Mr. Frank Bello from What's up, kid? How are you? From the Mighty Mighty Anthrax. What was the bass line, the riff, whatever, that made you want to pick up the instrument? You know, this is funny because there's a couple of them that really made me want to play. There was the Rush thing, of course, or the Free Will, right? Mm -hmm. goes on and on you know the song yeah. that was one of them but then for the metal thing it was absolutely and I don't have to say this of course <laughs> Iron Maiden Killers of course. Steve Harris is a big influence Getty Lee's a big influence still to this day and Geezer Butler really mm -hmm. all three of those guys um, instrumental instrumental in me, making me want to uh, just pick up an instrument well the bass specifically but man I tried guitar first Oh, really? You know, I tried okay. guitar, but I was playing, and I was jamming with Charlie Benanti from Anthrax. We, we grew up together, so we're related. And, um, and he's the guy that pretty much, him and my friend Mike, to, they just told me, you're playing the bass parts on guitar. <laughs> so I heard bass, oh, you know wow. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it just made sense to switch it over. And once I switched to the bass, it was automatic. It was like a click in, something mm -hmm. clicked, and it worked out. Um, I just, I had the ear for that. It just, I picked up the bass parts really easily. So then it was just, it was onward, man. It was, I just learned like every Rush song I could, every Iron Maiden, Sabbath, you know. And then it just carried on, just trying to get everything right. That, that was my training. That was really growing up in training. So those were also the first songs you learned? When, yeah. when, so when you picked up, when you said, man, I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards the bass, you pick up the bass. Yeah. What's the song you can't wait to learn how to play? Oh, this. Right? And I, we still, we open to that song. <laughs> you know I mean? That's the yeah. opening song before Anthrax comes yeah. out. It's still one of those things that made a big deal in my life. I couldn't, I said, that's lead bass. Yeah. That's, that, this guy, uh, Steve Harris, who's now a friend, I'm proud to say that and honored. Mm -hmm. um, it, the guy just took, I took, he took bass and put it in the front and uh, made it musical. You know, it, it just, and so did Geezer and so did Getty. And, and those were my guys. Those were my, and go, growing up with that father, those were my heroes. Sure. You know, so I looked up to those guys. I mean, uh, they were something that they were on the stage, they're playing the instrument they want to play, and the guys in Kiss, even Simmons, Gene Simmons is an underrated bass player. Yeah. You listen to this stuff, Paul McCartney, an underrated oh, Paul bass McCartney. player. Uh, you really, un people un have to give props to these people. They don't, Paul's a great, of course, the, one of the best writers ever, but listen to his bass lines. He's I, incredible. I, I always say uh, silly love songs to me is like, one, like one of my favorite bass boom, lines. Boom, boom, boom. It's one just, of my favorite bass it's, lines. It's ever. awesome. Just everything he does, he, he sings for this, he, he plays bass for the song mm -hmm. and making it all, and that's what it's about really you learn I guess after a while it's not about your what you can do it's about what's good for the song and what's what's gonna add that little flavor to the song that make it a little tastier sure and that's that's what I kind of try to do you know without overplaying you're playing your signature bass uh, yes I, I'm a huge fan of ESP me too um, this has the alder wood which I love it's warm but mm -hmm. right? it, it's it's penetrating I use this in the studio that's what's great about look the bottom line if you're not gonna show up with your, with your bass in the studio and you're just going to show it off. I'm not that guy. I can't do it. Right. I, it this comes in the studio. It's got, so it's got the Alderwood, the maple neck for the little pop. You know, mm -hmm. this is our music that we're playing here. So sure. you kind of got to cut through mm -hmm. the bass drum and the guitars. So, uh, you know, you really know at this level, I've been playing well, God, 40 years now. God, I said that. <laughs> um, I kind of know what I want and what I need to hear just in this music. Um, so this thing does, it's got the ebony fretboard, which I love, 34 inch scale neck, um, go to, um, tuners, bridge, and these things, the EMG, and I, this is a, I don't, you, don't, you don't even know this yet, okay. these are the EMG X's right mm -hmm. now, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not supposed to say this, but there's something coming out very soon that I'm very, very proud of, it has to do with pickups, mm. and I'll just leave it there. Uh -oh. I'm so effing psyched about it. Uh -oh. I think the, and uh, it's gonna be fun, and uh, man, because we've been working on it for a while, and those of you who like tone, man, I, I'm gonna leave it there. Man, I'm so psyched because we're going back and forth. I think we finally got it, 
and oh, I gave I the love okay, it. so I'm kind of psyched, and I don't, I don't even tell you what it was. We'll just <laughs> leave it there. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite psyched about it because we uh, worked on it, and I'm pretty stoked. Right oh, now. that's wonderful, man. Yeah. So this is it. Again, no bells and whistles. My, the whole idea, as a bass player, look, I've been very lucky. I know that. This is a crapshoot, this, this game. When that kid comes to my clinic, any young people, older people, whatever. I get people in their 60s coming to my clinic just starting to play. The yeah. biggest, and you see my clinics, the, the, the best thing about, for me, in my life right now is to pass the torch. Yes. I have a 12-year-old son. I want him to play. If he doesn't want it, fine. But what I want is the availability of this tool to make your, bl your life better. That's yeah. what it's about now. Because this thing made me get out of the rut that I was in. Look, no father, no money, all that stuff. Needed heroes. This thing made me feel better about life. Well, dude, thank you on behalf of the instrument industry. Thank you on just my personal behalf, Thank the 16 year old That's kid awesome. in me. Is and now you're, you're what, 21? Yeah, yeah, cool. dude, yeah, dude, I'm 21, man. Great. It was just a couple yeah. years ago, dude, it was, it was awesome, man. Thank me too, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm 30, I'm 31. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got good jeans. That's them Italian jeans. All right, dude, thank you so much. This is Squiggy, Loudwire's Gear Factor, horns up. Thanks for watching. Peace.